guys, Mopar for Life here. Quick little update, June 22nd, 2020. I wanted to show you how the lawn was coming along. along. Also to show you how those areas of the lawn were coming along, you know, exhibit A, exhibit B, exhibit C, and exhibit D. As you know, if you've been following my channel, I started off the season with a Scott's, uh, what is it, a Scott's Lawn Care Food Program using their website. I also um, wanted to integrate the next biostimulant pack, which I have been following to the T, and also throwing down a couple of bags of malorganite through the season to enhance, you know, my lawn to grow very thick and plush. Um, today, I wanted to basically just show you around, do a quick walk around of certain areas such as exhibit a here to see how well it's doing a uh, quick before picture from the first video as you know this area used to have ryegrass in it pulled it in hopes that you know i can get some of that uh, some of those uh, runners to run over the bare spots and cover up that area also exhibit B over here looks and seems to be covering up quite well you can see how long the grass is getting in this area a little bit of close-up here you can see the runners coming in one two Areas right here also covering up nice and well. Quick before photo also. We'll get you shown to what it did look like on the first video. Um, also a quick before photo of this area, exhibit C. You can also see how it's coming in nice, nice, uh, nicely, uh, quite thick. Area right here, kind of thin, I believe, because that's the tree. Having an issue with the tree, you got a big root that kind of comes in from right from the, the base of the tree over into this area. So uh, I might have to throw down some soil on top of that. Um, and exhibit D over here. You can also see the runners coming into the empty areas and so on. Always had some trouble with that area. So um, as I back up a little bit, you can kind of get the whole shot here. So for June 22nd, this time of year, everything seems to be doing pretty well. A um, couple of things that I had done in the last couple of weeks. Uh, I put down some steer manure here, 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 and over there. Uh, exhibit A, exhibit B, exhibit C, and exhibit D. Just to try to get the, that extra push before summertime. Um, because these areas, well, especially Exhibit A, taken a long time to grow in. Um, something I was going to do today was put some plugs. Well, I was going to pull some plugs, which I already did. I pulled some plugs here using my yard butler. I don't know if you guys ever used the yard butler, but uh, it's great at pulling plugs. I got this area over here around my planter or around this tree here that is constantly growing St. Augustine grass into it. So um, somebody was like, pull it out, pull it out. It doesn't look nice, but you know what? I left it in there and knowing that St. Augustine, you know, for a set of like 12 plugs is like $10. Um, I thought, you know what? I'll let it grow in. If I ever need, if I ever get any bare spots or anything like that, I'll have this area to pull plugs from. So that's what I use the yard butler for. 
I use the yard butter to come into this area and pull plugs. This is kind of like my reserve St. Augustine section, you know, the area of rocks around it. But uh, I pulled plugs from that area. Also pulled some of the dirt using the plug uh, yard butler to, you know, so, so I can transplant some of the plugs I pulled. So just as an example, yard butler here. I think I got it for like, what, like $19 on Amazon. I'll leave a link in the description. But uh, um, take one of my plugs here, put it into the area where I pulled the dirt from. And it's really simple. It's just plug and play. That's all. Take another plug. Got another area right here smash it down just plug and play really really simple nothing to it at all nothing to it at all so now I got that extra help in there to try to cover up those bare spots it's gonna take a uh, it's definitely gonna help me out help my grass my my grass out give me those instant results so as long as I water it uh, and stuff like that. I don't need to give it any type of, you know, feeding or anything like that. Some people like to throw some Lorganite, you know, at the bottom of the hole where you pull the plug, but no, I get, believe me, I've given my lawn enough food for the season so far. So the nutrients are definitely in the soil, but um, great little way to uh, get instant results. Yard Butler there. I would recommend it. Uh, if you haven't already got one and you're trying to, you know, like I said, get quick results. But another thing I'm going to do today also is be testing out a few of these uh, meters here. I have a rapid test uh, pH meter and a rapid test moisture meter. I'm going to take some quick test of my lawn. Maybe do about, maybe about... Um, I'll do one here, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight, nine, ten. So I'll do ten tests for my lawn to see, you know, if pH, well, first of all, I'm not sure if these work very well. I got these from my local garden center. I don't know how well calibrated they are, but I've heard good results on them. So this will be a first time for me. Uh, I'll pull the pH, you know, uh, I'll do a pH test on those 10 areas of my lawn and I'll also do a moisture test on those 10 areas of my lawn. And then I'll post them up on the screen to let you know what I have got for my areas. But uh, nonetheless, I think the lawn is doing pretty well. Um, I am mowing it very high this time of year at a probably like almost five inches. Um, I want it to get it very thick and have that carpet like uh, effect. So when you step on it, you can get that nice little crunch. But um, I won't be doing any mowing today or any edging or anything like that. It's just mainly to give you an update, show you how things are doing, um, you know, compare it to your lawn, and pretty much uh, show you what I got. So, with that being said, I'll go ahead and do these tests real quick, give you some results. Uh, this is the Rapid Test uh, digital moisture meter here, and based on the instructions from the website. Um, it basically says to um, take the meter, stuff it into the ground, or probe it into the ground two, it, two inches, two to three inches below the soil. Uh, it's where they state is the heaviest uh, water concentration. Uh, this probe right here is a four inch probe, so I know it'll go down that deep. So I'm going to check two to three inches below the soil in ten different spots that I labeled. Uh, around my yard here um, show you the results after um, so I'm gonna see if I'm watering it enough and uh, based on the numbers that I am reading from the website
to let you know if you're watering, you know, enough or not underwatering. Uh, they're looking for a level of five. Uh, so when I stick this in the ground, I should see a number five and above if I am watering my lawn enough. With that being said, I'll go ahead and get the test results from the 10 areas I had pointed out earlier. Um, I'll do that right now. Uh, I just completed the moisture test uh, around areas of my lawn and uh, I pretty much um, uncovered the areas that need watering to include the areas that were sufficient in watering so that's good to know I know what areas to now concentrate on as far as and, and then try to identify why those areas are not basically getting as much water as other areas so very helpful uh, you know moisture meter tester the rapid test moisture meter and I'll leave the link in the description to where you can get that you know moisture meter from um, it's not that much I think I paid I think around $22 for it so nonetheless now I am going to conduct the pH test on my my lawn here and this is also, like I said, this is the Rapid Test Digital Plus Soil pH meter. Uh, both of those meters, uh, both of these meters made by Luster Leaf. Uh, reading over the instructions really quick. Also, you want, this is pretty much a, a four inch probe here. Uh, same with this probe here. You're gonna wanna dig it into the soil about a good two to three inches in. This is a four inch uh, probe here, so definitely long enough to get down in there um the reading we are looking for based on their the luster leaf guide for grasses um is a 6.5 to 7.5 for saint augustine grass so as with the moisture meter test i am going to hit the same 10 spots that i did with that probe and then uh, give you some results so I can identify which areas uh, are either too alkaline or too acidic. And maybe that might uncover, might uncover uh, some of the issues I am having, having, ha having uh, with my lawn as far as you know areas that are not being able to grow or something like that. But uh, I don't think I'll have an issue. Uh, I checked the, you know, um, and, uh, and, and, and I checked the, the water coming out of my house with the uh, moisture meter, or not the moisture, the pH, well this uh, rapid test uh, pH meter, and I was getting about a 6.7 uh, for the tap water. Uh, neutral water is about 7.0, um, so Watering my lawn every single day should at least give me, you know, within the range I am looking for in my lawn uh, as far as, you know, uh, what I'm looking for. So, nonetheless, I'll go ahead and give you those test results right now. And then, uh, like I said, we'll uncover, see what we got.
All right, guys, so the results are in for my, you know, pH testing done on my lawn here using the rapid test digital pH meter here. And, um, the you know, they're kind of mixed and stuff like that. Um, I had a couple low areas, especially in exhibit A here. I think I was getting about a 6.2, a 6.3. So maybe that can explain why uh, I'm not getting, you know, you know, fast results here as far as um, growing and um, um, what was I going to say, um, you know, having runners go into them bare spots and pretty much uh, cover them up as opposed to exhibit B over here. I'm getting a, you know, within range, I think a 7.3 pH rating over here and it's growing nice and plush and those areas are covering up really well, including over here. Um, and over there, uh, so B, C, and D are covering up pretty well. So with that being said, you know, the low reading here could be responsible, you know, reason why, or it could be a, a responsible for the reason why I'm not getting any growth here. Maybe there's a, a an issue with nutrient uptake uh, as far as, um, uh, you know, the roots are not getting in there and eating what I'm putting down to have those areas just grow so i looked into a couple of things as far as how to raise the um uh acidity level not raise the acidity level or uh, raise it to uh a more of an alkalinic soil alkaline how would you say it? alkalinity soil uh because 6.2 is kind of on the acidic side where 7.0 is neutral like I said, so I want to get that range until about a 6.5, 7.5. Maybe those, you know, nutrients will get into that root system and the grass will be able to uptake it more and grow. Um, so two ways I can do that, looked it up, limestone um, and wood ashes. Uh, so I got plenty of wood ashes in the back. Uh, you know, I like dealing with wood, so I save up quite a few just, you know, for times, you know, when I want to start an easy fire or something like that. So I will um, look into that even further, but uh, those are two ways. But uh, nonetheless, I did the moisture meter testing. Um, I did the pH testing, got the results for everything. If anything, uh, you know, this video is kind of long and stuff like that. If anything, you know, I provided myself with valuable knowledge that you know, uh, I could uh, use as far as the future of my lawn goes. Uh, I've, I've uncovered, you know, areas that need moisture. Maybe it's just a, a sprinkler issue. Maybe I adjust my sprinklers. Um, but uh, definitely the pH uh, issue comes into play here. I'm going to raise the level of pH here in Exhibit A. Uh, so hopefully this season, I can get more growth in that area. So you guys know what I've done here. You guys know what I've accomplished today. And it wasn't an easy task. I started about nine o'clock this morning. It's about 2.30, 3 o'clock now. And I'm barely getting finishing, uh, barely getting finished here. Uh, also, not to mention, I did plant some plugs in this area here. So everything I got here, I'll leave a link in the description to where you can purchase it. Um, over time, I'll figure out what kind of quality these uh, these meters are and uh, how well they do. Um, so that'll be give, that, that'll you know give me something else to um, go by. Uh, or I, uh, that'll give me something else to look into as time goes on. So thank you for joining me today. Um, I'll see what I can do to correct these issues. Uh, I'll be giving another update, update number six around July fourth weekend uh, where I'll be throwing down the Scott's lawn care food and then I believe I'm going to be throwing down a micro green um, uh, you know throw down around that same time as part of the next biostimulant pack and stuff like that so enough time that I've taken from you guys but uh, hope to see some really quick results and hope to get that down as far as you know raising the ph here i'll talk to you guys later this is mopar for life saying peace out be safe out there
and thank you for joining me. Goodbye. All right, so I know I said I wasn't going to mow today, but uh, I went ahead and just did it real quick uh, since the evening was feeling kind of cool here. So um, quick walk around uh, of the areas that I was talking about. Exhibit A over here covering up really nice. Everything looking pretty even for the most part. Everything growing in real strong. Uh, exhibit B, as you can see right here, uh, looking really, really good. Hardly, almost nothing as far as uh, bear spots go uh, as compared to the first video of the season. Uh, same with Exhibit C over here, as you know, was also pretty bare. Nothing that you can tell as far as it look in any way um, like that and then um, exhibit D over here pretty much the same growing in covering uh, those bare spots really nice so as I back up a little bit one more shot before I close out the video and I say so long till next time around July 4th weekend where I do update number six, micro green application, the next biostimulant pack. Also going to be, um, also going to be Scott's Lawn Care uh, food application, summer application that is. So that'll be it. Mopar for life. I'll see you guys next time. Feel this. Uh huh. For two hundred and fifty dollars. Uh huh. What? Ow. Two hundred and fifty dollars for this.